Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make dirty rice. It's a family recipe. It's been in the family for years. And my dad passed away, but before he did, he passed it down to me. And I'm going to show you how to make it. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure your notifications is turned on for my next video. Okay, to get started, we're going to start off with one whole medium onion, two garlic cloves, two beef bouillon cubes, two tablespoons of chili powder, and a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I also have on the stove browning right now, one pound of ground meat, one pound of breakfast sausage, and I have two cups of cooked rice that I've already done. All right, guys, we're gonna dice these. And also, I forgot to mention, you're gonna need two stems of green onions uh, chopped up, and that's gonna go in at the end. All right, but this recipe came from my dad, as far as I know. Uh, he came up with it years ago, and he would serve it at every Thanksgiving and pretty much every Christmas as well. And everybody loved it so much. And now that I make it, I get a lot of compliments. And every year people want me to make it for them for Christmas or Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's really good. I hope y'all give it a try. And if you do, let me know what you think down in the comments. Or if you maybe changed it up for your taste, let me know. And I use the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, but you can also use the old folks. I've used that one. And if you can't find either or, you can use whatever store brand that you have. And always make sure that you have a really sharp knife because a dull knife is very dangerous in the kitchen. It might sound weird, but it is. Because you got to add more pressure to the knife to get through the vegetables, which could slip and then you cut yourself. I've done it <laughs> before, so I'm, I've learned from experience. And if you don't know, a correct way to hold a knife is like this. I learned that from uh, the Food Network show, The Kitchen. From Jeffrey he said it gives you more control over the knife and actually I find that it does so that was a good tip and if you have a plastic cutting board see mine has rubber on the end so it doesn't slide but if you have a plastic one you can put a dishcloth underneath and it won't slide on you just in case you didn't know that <clears throat> And once the, the meat gets browned, we're not going to drain it, guys. We're going to keep the, uh, the grease in it. You're going to think, maybe that's a lot of grease. <laughs> but trust me, you're going to need it. So don't drain it at all. Because this, when we add the rice to it, the rice is going to soak up all that grease and flavor. So please do not discard the grease. <clears throat> And once it's, uh, the meat is done browning, we're going to go ahead and add our onion and our garlic until the onion is translucent and soft. And then we'll add our seasonings. And then we'll turn off the heat and add the rice and green onion. Give it a good mix and we're good to go. That is all there is to it. Okay, this is my ground meat and my pork sausage. I'm just letting it brown on a medium heat. And I already have my rice done. That's two cups of cooked rice. 
All right, I'm gonna go over here and cut up my onions now. Okay, I just wanted to give y'all a quick peek on how it's browning up. It's getting there, it's almost, almost completely done. And you see this, um, the grease forming down there? Trust me, don't throw that away. It'll, it won't come out right, trust me, it will not come out right. That's crucial, keep the fat as much as you may want to drain it, do not drain it. That is the finished product of my dirty rice or my dad's dirty rice <laughs> it's so good I hope y'all give it a try and let me know what y'all think and that's how it's done guys all right cooking crew don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos bye